Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have a little bit more Blood Red Skies coverage for you today. So we're adding a little bit to our Japanese forces um, just because we really uh, didn't have much for them yet and wanted to at least add one ace here. So we decided to go and pick up Saburo Sakai um, for the Japanese, of course, here. So, um, you know, and uh, all these ace kits here for... Uh, the game here from Warlord, so really good stuff, just basically adding a elite uh, pilot, not just a generic ace, which you can also run out of this, but um, giving you another plane, and but also giving you that, uh, again, that specific ace with uh, their very specific skills and stuff, so really um, pre presenting some new and unique uh, options there. Um, and uh, something new to learn and master for your uh, for your forces here. So, um, so pretty cool. Didn't really know much about him before picking this up. Um, uh, I do have to confess there, but a little bit about his backstory there. So, um, you know, and end of the war basically with uh, sixty nine kills. So no um, no joke there. So we'll get this open for you guys here, and then we will um, uh, see what it all has to offer for us. So we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we got everything opened up here for you, and as usual we get quite a bit of stuff for such a small box. So let's start off with some of the cardboard here. So we get a couple of generic uh, ace pilots if we want, and a um, token there. On the reverse side we get a level 4 pilot, um, level 4 scale, but then uh, the actual uh, Saburo Sakai uh, disc for our pilot here. And again with our handy reference on what his uh, special ability is there. Um, moving on, we'll cover some of the smaller stuff here. So we get some... Not really decals, more uh, like stickers here if we want to uh, use that for our markings for our planes. Uh, speaking of the plane itself, so again, uh, we get our flight base with the advantage uh, system here. If I can actually move it correctly. There we go. So like that and that. And then the neutral. Uh, speaking of the model itself, so again, we get our wonderful zero here. Really good uh, detail. If we can get that to zoom in properly and focus. There we go. Um, so again, yeah, really good stuff there from Warlord. Easy. Nothing to worry about there. No, uh, no warpage. No, um, no flash. Really, just some maybe a teeny, teeny bit of mold line stuff to to work on, but um, really good overall there. Um, then uh, as well, uh, jumping in here. So um, let's get into our cards a little bit and. So, um, <clears throat> we'll start off with the zero itself. So this is more the mid-war zero. So the A six M five. And so as we can see, single engine fighter, um, pretty decent firepower with two, great maneuverability at three, uh, speed of seven, so a little bit slow overall, but um, you know, still uh, basically average uh, there. Real speed of 354, but does come with tight turn, um, which you're definitely going to need because uh, zeros are also vulnerable, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, and then on the back there, a little historical blurb on it, so basically mid-war uh, version of the zero there. So, speaking of vulnerable, so basically a um, whenever a vulnerable plane is shot at, you increase the firepower of the shooting attack by one before the dice are rolled, just to represent that. Even though with some mid-war improvements, as it mentions on the card, so even a little bit of extra armor here and there, the Zero was basically still um, uh, not protected uh, compared to like some of the heavy American fighters and stuff like that. So, um, that being said, so you're definitely going to have to use your, um, your speed with uh, what speed you have there, but your maneuverability really and just um, thinking thinking ahead and getting yourself into good positions, um, which means really basically not being in the line of sight of um, your, your opponent's planes as much as possible um, uh, to, uh, you know, avoid that damage and everything else. Um, so no no need to give the opponent extra dice um, and make it easier for them. So, um, but that being said, you know, your maneuverability will help you out there. <clears throat> So, but nonetheless, yeah, the zero is still um, practically uh, unarmored. Um, but tight turn, the other ability here, so, you know, on a plane during its movement, uh, so the plane may make its normal 45 degree turn at any point, not just the end. So, again, you can definitely um, pull some swerves and other stuff on the opponent and hopefully get them off your tail if that's where they do find themselves or you find them um, and setting yourself up hopefully for... <clears throat> um, good shots on them. Speaking of our ace here, so... Um, <clears throat> So Saburu Sakai, so again, he adds a maneuverability, so uh, a four there is pretty uh, fantastic combined with his uh, pilot skill level, so really uh, nine dice there for defenses is pretty damn cool. Um, and he has uh, aggressive and comeback king, so, and uh, on the points side here, um, he will net you, or run you, I should say, 140 points. Uh, so not cheap by any means, it's definitely on the hi uh, higher side, I think, for pretty much most aces, but he's also a pretty damn good pilot. Um, so if you've really mastered uh, getting the most out of the zero, um, if you can, you know, 
find a good points balance uh, between the rest of your sh uh, planes that you're bringing and being able to fit him in for your like typical 500 point game um he can definitely do some work for you so and his cards here that he adds <clears throat> So uh, Comeback King is really good. Um, so you can, you know, uh, if you find yourself at um, uh, basically being disadvantaged, um, you can certainly get right back in the fight here with that. So basically, um, in reaction to someone shooting at uh, your disadvantaged ace, um, if the ace critically dodges a shooting attack while disadvantaged, he becomes neutral already, which great is great, you know, especially if you haven't um, gone yet, you can get yourself right back into a good position um, to hopefully launch some attacks of your own on your activation or at least get right back up and get to advantage um, pretty quickly. So um, basically free um, free actions here is always a good thing if you can nail that, um, that critical and with the nine um, dice there that should probably be um, easier, uh, we'll say. Um, so uh, then, uh, aggressive as well. So again, really just a great little bit of offensive um, ability here. So uh, he can choose both outmaneuver and shoot as uh, actions during his activation. So again, just um, making up for some of the maybe um, issues here or uh, shortcomings of the zero by basically um, creating more opportunities for more actions. Um, so you know, over the course of a game, if you can keep coming back to these things, you know, you're getting more actions. Um, than your opponent, hopefully, um, and, you know, it's almost like you're basically getting extra turns then, and hopefully you can, you know, then uh, string those things together to then line up um, more kills and things like that, and um, that's where really uh, Sabru is going to shine here, I think, is, you know, um, getting him... Um, getting him into those good positions using uh, what he does best there. Um, he's got some defensive ability um, and uh, the offensive ability with aggressive there to serve economy of uh, activations and really just a, a very combo like they're just being able to bounce back as, as you know, you, you might think you have him on the ropes there being a disadvantage. You know, if he nails the comeback king thing, he's back to neutral. Um, and then just being able to do multiple things potentially on his uh, own activation. So just really good stuff. And again, um, so he's for single engine fighters. So certainly you could throw him in other things. But I'm kind of just thinking of it now, uh, for now at least, just in terms of just the zero um, that we have here. So, but really just making that a very deadly plane. And again, if um, if you've mastered uh, the zero for Blood Red Skies, um, you know, your opponent, your opponent might think they might be easy pickings, uh, you know, if they've maybe played someone who's not as good or skilled with the zero just because of, again, vulnerable is certainly a very um, bad uh, um, negative trait that you have to deal with. But, um, you know, if they can't shoot you because you're not in their line of sight, um, then you can, you know, mitigate that. It's it's almost like it's not there. So you're not going to be outrunning anybody really um, with your speed seven. But, um, hey, um, you know, if you're if you constantly put yourself into good positions where, you know, the enemy's just not getting shots at you, um, then it doesn't really matter. You you should hopefully come out on top. So anyway, really loving this guy. I'm um, going to get uh, things put together here. I'm working on a couple other things for our Japanese forces. Um, then looking to get these painted up here pretty quick. And then um, certainly into some battle reports for you guys. Uh, just a quick shout out that Warlord also has, uh, as of today, launched the Blood Red Skies Kickstarter for the digital version of the game. So definitely check that out, guys. We're really excited about that. Um, already backed it. So um, head over to Kickstarter, check that out if you like the game. Um, that's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. And we're definitely going to uh, be putting out um, uh, battle reports for that as well, in addition to the, the, the regular miniatures game here um, once that launches. So really excited. Um, hit us up in the comments, too, uh, what your guys' um, uh, story has been so far. If you've used Saburo Sakai, uh, whatever your success has been, uh, what, what's worked for you, what kind of um, squadrons and stuff have you fielded with him? Um, and you know, yeah, just let us know, uh, what's, what's happened there. Um, uh, like, and subscribe as well. If you guys uh, haven't already, um, that helps support the channel. We do appreciate each and every one of those. And then if you guys do want to support the channel a little bit more, head over, uh, to Warlord. There's a link in the description. Uh, if you click on that link, head over there and anything you guys pick up that also helps support us. Uh, so really do appreciate anybody who does that as well. Um, in the meantime, guys, um, hope everybody enjoyed the video and we'll have more Blood Red Skies content coming for you soon. Thanks so much. Take care.